Hello legends, it is your boy Link and today we have my biggest ever fake football shirt unboxing video. Hey legends, it's your boy Link, welcome back to the channel. You guys love the fake football shirt reviews and um, we had a company called Fofo Shop Free reach out to us and say they were going to send me some shirts to review. I have not been sponsored, I've not received any money from them for this video, I've just been sent a bunch of shirts to tell you my sort of genuine opinion. It's the biggest fake football shirt video I've ever done. Six shirts in this package, I'm going to turn it so you can see how fat it is but try to hide my address, look at that. Look how thick that is. So there is six football shirts, lots of which I'm excited about. Struggling to open it, it's like bursting. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's like a pretty rainbow. Just gonna take it off camera so I don't show my address, but look at all them. So I'll show you what we've got first and then we'll actually look at them properly. We've got a, a Bellingham Real Madrid shirt, a Lewandowski Barca shirt, but that's got a little twist in there as well. I'll show you it in a bit. A England player version, Trent Alexander-Arnold shirt. I've got this season's Liverpool shirt with Sub Osloy on, uh, fan version. I've then got an England fan version of the new away shirt, which isn't out yet. And that's the same with the home shirt, it's not out yet, you can't even buy it yet. And then we have an AC Milan Giroud shirt. Look at that, so we've got some crazy shirts from lots of big clubs. Um, and they're all 4XL, so every shirt is a 4XL. Generally with these shirts you have to size up. Um, start off with the, the Milan one, I think. You know, because we all like AC, not in there, right? That's nice, it feels nice. I have some Puma football shirts, so I have a good idea what it should feel like. Look at that. It's got a nice, like, chevron -y detail. The Puma on the sleeves is stitched, which is... That's how it should be. The print's really nice. Giroud 9. It f looks like a really good size. Oh, I did get the Serie A patch as well. 23-24 season. Um, shirts come in, I think, around twenty dollars. Um, quality's good. The badge is quite weird. So it's like embroidered, and then it's rubbery. I haven't had a real Milan shirt, so that's how it should be. But it's very nice if it is. The sponsor, the Emirates, feels good. It's got that kind of stickiness that you should have. Um, MSC, I don't know what MSC. They sponsor Ipswich. They sponsor Ipswich Town and AC Milan. What's that about? And it's got AC Milan embroidered in the collar. It's just a nice shirt, no real like pulls or anything. It's as you expect a, a Puma shirt to be. Let's see how it looks like when I put it on. Okay, so it's very tight. Like, you know what I mean? It's too tight, I'm gonna take it off. So just for reference, this is a 3XL genuine Nike Liverpool shirt. There's plenty of like spare fabric all around it. That Puma one, there wasn't. Puma shirts in general are a bit smaller, so we'll see how the others fit. Based on that, it's logical to try an England one next. So this England shirt isn't out yet. This is the supposedly leaked England away shirt for Euro 2024, which will be won by Germany, no doubt. Um, I don't think England will win it. Look at that, though. It's a nice purpley kind of grey, black. On the back, Alexander-Arnold 18. you got to support your boy, right? You know what number to get for him, because he's won seven for England recently. This badge has got a couple of little white plucks in it. Like there, there's a couple of little white bits. The detail's nice. Detail inside the shirt's nice. It's got this kind of like different England colours um, all on it. It's got that under the, the old armpit as well, look. Like a quite weird pattern. Size-wise... Again, it looks good. The, the Milan one looks good. Like, do you know what I mean? I hold it up to myself, it looks good. So, let's see how it fits. Okay, so this one is snug, but not as snug. It's, do you know what I mean? See what I mean? It's snugger, but there's a little bit of space in there. Like, this is comfortable enough that I would wear it, but this is a 4XL in a night shirt, not a 3XL, which is what my Liverpool one is. So let's, let's maybe try a Liverpool one next then, shall we? A Dominic Sobersly. He spelled the name right, that's always a good sign. So I actually have one of these from DH Gate. I've got the Premier League badge, the No Room for Racism. It's got the Expedia on the sleeves. The crest, hmm, is good quality, but there is, you know, the little gaps in the birdie wing. 
could be crisper. Like on a real one. Oh, to be fair, it's not as different as I thought. I dropped it. Do you see what I mean? I feel like that's fairly all right. I meant to start showing you the, the white one. It's got the 97, the Eternal Flames, and so was like number eight. It feels good to have a number eight shirt again. I don't remember the last time I had a shirt with number eight. It would be back in Steven Gerrard days because I never wore a Navigator. I'm happy with that one also, definitely. I went to look for the other shirt, but I've, I've got it on still. Oh, let's just see how the Liverpool one fits me, shall we? So I do have this particular shirt from DHK. And again, it's a little snug here. This is the, the Fofo Shop Free one. It's a bit snug, but it is loose enough that I could wear it. Um, and it feels just like the DHK one, like the texture of it and the prints and stuff. So whether they're the same suppliers, I don't know. But either way, it fits quite nicely. So it's time to get on the next one. See, we've still got three left. I'm so excited about this. The most football shirts I've ever had in a day. Like, if you were buying all these, like, as authentic ones, you'd be spending, like, 600 quid, probably, with all the names and numbers. Oh, I like that, though. So this is the England authentic wear one. It's got, like, a texture to the shirt. Like, a really nice kind of texture, actually. It looks slim, and I mean slim. The name looks the same as the away one in terms of the style of it. It's got that same kind of blue, red, purple sort of England flag thing going on. The badge on this one though is like a rubber, kind of like the Liverpool authentic ones, you know, the the player versions. The Nike is also glued on on this one like that, it's not stick. That's how they are on the player versions, because obviously the players want like the lightest, most comfortable sort of shirt they can have. But this one looks the part, I mean, honestly, it looks quality. It's one of the first times I've had a, um, a player version. One thing I will say, there's a dark thread come through on the sleeve there, which lets it down, on the neck, sorry, which lets it down a little bit, because this, the neck should have white threading, like the rest of it is all white. There's just one little bit where it's blue, but yeah, it's very, very nice. It's got Alexander Arnold on on the back let's see how it fits so my head's too big do i push my head through and risk ripping the shirt or do i Ugh, it's really tight on my neck oh i've got a big head that's well known but oh it's tight around the neck region i don't know if the player fit ones are supposed to feel like that but i don't particularly like it and um the bottom of the shirt is barely covering my belly like it's super snug which i did expect from a player version but the quality feels beautiful like if you're a smaller size and you can go maybe two sizes up do it because i've gone the one size up and it's not comfortable but if i lost the stone i'd probably really like the fit of this but the head situation like i was nervous putting it on because it felt like it was gonna rip i'm gonna change out of this one i don't like this one so now let's move on to i think this is another nike one so yeah it's a nike bag at least Barcelona. Now, this is a special one because Barcelona are sponsored by Spotify, which is, you know, some people's favorite music platform. I like Apple Music. I think Apple Music is best on iPhone, but Spotify, the app is great on PlayStation and on PC, so... Anyway, I'll show you the back first. We've got the Champions League five-time, five-time Booker T, five-time... <laughs> UEFA Champions, UEFA Foundation for Children, Badgers, um, no sleeve sponsor on the other side, I don't know if that's how they get down in Europe. Lewandowski! I did really debate Rafinha, but I kind of thought I've never had a Lewandowski one, like I can get Rafinha one next year. Lewandowski might not be about much longer, and it has got the shirt sponsor at the bottom. Then as you move to the front, so this is the Spotify bit, they recently did a deal with one of my favourite bands, maybe the greatest band of all time, The Rolling Stones, look at that, how badass is that? It was like a limited edition collaboration, but this website obviously making fake shirts can print what they want when they want. So if you want a Rolling Stones Barcelona shirt instead of a, just a Barcelona shirt, these are your boys, but look at that. It's got the whole thing going on, the whole Mick Jagger tongue. Don't know if it's Mick Jagger's tongue, it's just the Rolling Stones logo, isn't it? But more of a Gene Simmons kind of tongue, but yeah, look at that. And this actually feels perfect. Like I've got a few Nike shirts. Um, I know what Nike fabric should feel like. I've got loads of the Liverpool ones and stuff, and this feels that kind of plasticky thing that the stadium version should feel like. And I love it, honestly. This is my favorite one. I really hope this one fits me nice. It seems I can't get no satisfaction. It's a bit tight, isn't it? I like it though. Also, I've just noticed on the badge, there's this weird kind of like diamond. Is that supposed to be there? It's like a plasticky diamond? Or is that part of how it's been applied and they haven't took it off? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know. I love the sponsor though. It's a cool shirt. It's just a bit small. It's motivation to carry on with my man versus fat, losing a bit of weight at the moment. I've lost I think, about six kilos in my current sort of spell with man v fat. So let's keep going and we might be able to get in the Barcelona shirt. One thing I want to highlight before we move to the next shirts that is a bit strange because this is a transparent review. The Nike England one fit quite nice. The purple one. The Barcelona Nike one, which is also a 4XL, also a fan version, was a bit 
tighter. So there's a bit of inconsistency there. Anyway, finally, Real Madrid. I debated not getting Bellingham because he parted Liverpool, but he's the best English player in the world right now. I guess he's just the best English player everywhere, full stop. Um, it's a nice Madrid kit. It's like a dark... Is it a navy? It's like a off-black. Really nice font on the back. Real Madrid font. 14-time Champions League winners. As a Liverpool fan, it makes me sick because Liverpool only have six of them, but... They got 14, and a couple of them were at Liverpool's expense as well. I like this, the stripes as well, it's another one. The purple and the like, goldy yellow is kind of quite in at the moment, I think. In, at least in terms of football cut, fa football cut? Football shirt fashion. It's definitely a, a thing at the moment. This weird pattern on here, I don't get it. I don't know if it's just a pattern, I don't know if there's supposed to be some sort of meaning behind that. If there is, let me know in the comment. Badge on this one, yeah, it's good, but it's not the best thing i've ever ever seen but i'm happy with it like it looks good like i think with all of these no one would call you out and think you've got fakes on i think they're all that good that people just wouldn't notice it this looks quite wide adidas shirts generally in my opinion as a you know a big boy i think adidas shirts tend to fit the best i think their 3xl is the biggest 3xl adidas is the company where i'm happiest buying a 2xl so i'm optimistically hoping that this 4xl fits me really nice i will say umbro and puma are a bit on the smaller side like umbro a 3xl is somewhat tight on me in an authentic shirt uh, nike you've just seen how that fits and the adidas one is a bit more space so yeah adidas definitely fits the best let's see if that's the same case with these they often say save the best till last and this is the best honestly it feels the most legit it's the most spacious definitely like it's a comfortable size like I'd, I'd happily wear this out and about happily wear this down the shop i'd happily even play football in this you know where you're, you're in compromising positions at times i like it honestly i like the color of it you definitely will see me streaming with this shirt on in future i guarantee you because it's an awesome one you know we normally score every shirt out of 10 i guess we do that quickly now the ac milan one it's quite small but it's very nice so i'm going to give it a 7 7 out of 10. The Barcelona one, quite small, but it's very, very, very nice. And it's got a Rolling Stones logo on. I'm going to give that 8 out of 10. This England one might be, if it didn't have that bit of blue there, might have been the best fake shirt I've ever looked at. Whether that's because it's the player version instead of a fan version, maybe that's why it feels so premium, so good. They are more expensive. I'm going to give that one a 7 out of 10. It's good. And if it didn't have that one little bit of blue, it could be right up there. Next up, we have the Alexander Arnold England shirt. Now, I like this. I like the fit of it. I like the colour. I just noticed the night tick on it isn't quite sharp. It's a little bit kind of dull at the end, but um, this one was nice and it fit as well. So, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. The run with Dribble I have on, I'm actually going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, this may well hold the title of being the best fake football shirt we've reviewed on the channel. Um, part of me thinks, is it just because it's Adidas? Because Adidas stuff fits me better anyway. I'm not sure, but it's it's really good. And then last but not least, we saved the best of last. The Liverpool one, I love it. It fits. I'll definitely wear it. Got Sobo on the back. I give it a 7 out of 10 because it's a bit snug. It's not better than what I've seen before. It's got that same thing on the Nike tick where it's kind of a bit almost flat on the point. It's hard to show it on camera. Really hard. But it's not as sharp as it would be on like this one. Like, do you see what I mean? There, it's sharp. Like, there, it's sharp. Do you see what I mean? Does that show now? I hope it does. I'll try and take a picture that shows it if I can't get it in video format for you. But yeah, they're great shirts. Go check out Fofo Shop. I'm hoping to do a DHgate review of those two New England shirts, which aren't out yet. Um, I've also recently found that DHgate has Ipswich Town shirts. I know a lot of you are Ipswich Town fans that watch your channel. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below that you want me to make that video and I'll do my best to do it for you. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more football shirt videos. We've done a ton of them already and um, they're always well received. And we also do some like, vlogs and stuff. I booked tickets today to watch Liverpool Paul versus Ajax Legends. If I'd ordered these shirts a week later, I would have had a Henderson Ajax one, 100%, but I ordered them like two weeks ago. It took about two weeks to come, which is quick. Some of these shirts sometimes take three, four weeks. So yeah, this website was, was good server. Again, is that because I'm making a video for them? I'm not sure. So, you know, do your own research as well. But yeah, they're good. They are good. And, you know, I know there's a lot of controversy around the fake football shirt thing. Some of the more hardcore football fans get upset about it. But when you think some people have got kids, you know what I mean? You've got two, three kids needing the new football shirts. 
and they're, they're 60, 70 pounds. It's hundreds of pounds a season, especially when you think there's probably three shirts a year. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you want the three Liverpool ones, they're all like 75 quid. The three of them's going to cost you over 200 pounds per person. That's before you put names on, which you get included on there, and before you put your badges on. It's a rip off, really, football shirts. But you can get some good shirts, you know, on things like classicfootballshirts.com. There is places where you can get like end of season ones, you can get like last season shirts, like cheaper and authentic. But I feel like kids feel like they have to have this year's. But I don't think their friends will know a lot of the time. But anyway, all this left to say is thank you for watching this. Hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed yourself. I've been Link. You've been one of my legends. Thank you for that. And I'll see you all real soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. If you click up there, you can watch another video of mine. Or if you've really enjoyed yourself, you can go down there, subscribe to the channel, and you can help me on my quest to change this Lego play button that YouTube sent me into a gold one.